Okay. Hello. Welcome. Good morning. How are you? It's nice to have you one more time. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome. We're going to keep learning English on this thing that is section number five. I'm going to. Good evening. Thank you so much, Sebastiana. How are you? Are you ready for today's class? Yes? Yes, yes, it's I'm ready. Wonderful. Section number five is the one we're working, as you may know. And this one is called I'm going to a soccer match. Can I take a message? That is the title for today's class. This is pre-intermediate English module number three. And this is class number 15. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Um, this is the thing we're going to work, which is can I take a message? Yeah, so thank you so much for joining. It's nice to have you. And let's begin right away. Yesterday, we were working with something that is called doing or attending events, right? Free time activities and events we have here. We have some vocabulary and also some categories. Do me a favor, Catherine Nicole Salazar. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Please read the vocabulary here, Catherine, and also read. Uh, this is the vocabulary. Read the vocabulary and also the categories, Catherine Nicole. Thank you. A uh, rock concert, a uh, soccer game, a uh, birthday party, a uh, barbecue, a field festival, a class reunion, a uh, reading, a musical a car ride, a hip-hop dance performance, a video game tournament, a baseball game, a sport and games, friends and family, art and performance. Catherine, please read these categories. Thank you. Sport and games, friends and family, art and performance. Thank you so much. Very good. So let's order the vocabulary in here. Category number one, sports and games. What are those? A soccer game. A soccer game. Very good. Mm -hmm. Baseball else? game. A baseball game, very good. A car race. Okay, a car race, very good. What else? What else? There is one more. There is one more. A, a video game tournament. Exactly, a video game tournament. Yes, that is correct. What about friends and family? What are the things that we can do? Yep. A birthday party. A birthday party, right, very good. Everybody loves a birthday party. Oh my gosh. And what else? A barbecue. Oh, barbecues, yes. Um, a barbecue, thank you so much. What else? A wedding. A wedding, exactly right. A wedding, thank you so much. What else? There is one more. A class reunion. A class reunion, very good. A class reunion, very good. Thank you so much. Art and performances. What are those? Uh huh. A rock concert. A rock concert. A rock concert. Very good. A hip hop dance performance. Oh yeah, that is correct. A hip hop dance performance. Okay, A very good. Festival. Excuse me. A film festival. Very good. Okay, very good. 
What else? A musical. A musical, that's correct. Thank you so much. Now the question for you is the following. Uh, are you going to do any of the events from here? Are you going to do any of these events on the weekend? Let's begin with you, Irma Suleyma Grande de Cuellar. Thank you so much. Welcome. Tell me, Irma, are you going to do any of the activities in this part? Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Nice to have you. Tell me, please. Are, are you going to... Um, reading? Uh, no, está, no, entendí, no lo entendí. Perdón. I mean, are you going to do any of these activities on the weekend? Okay. Like, are you going to have a barbecue on the weekend? Mm -hmm. Are you going to a birthday party on the weekend? On the party, um, barbecue to eat a reunion familiar. Oh, okay. You um, have meeting, a, a, a meeting, family. A family meeting, a family reunion. You also you can um, say that. Very good. Thank you so much. Um, what, a, what about you, Ana Isela? Are you going to do any of these things on the weekend? No, teacher. Sorry, teacher. Only rest. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Yeah. yeah that sounds impressive. What about you, Sebastiana? Are you attending Hace one una of these? Muy muy <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, if you have the chance to rest, do it. Yeah, so just rest. That would be nice. Sebastiana, tell me, please. What about you? Mm, no, teacher. <laughs> oh, no, not a birthday party, not a barbecue. A birthday party? Um, uh, el, the last Saturday, 11. Oh, oh so you, you went. You went to an attendant. Yeah. Okay. Very yeah. good. Thank you so much. Jose, what about you, Jose? Are you uh, going to do one of these, or are you going to attend one of these events on the weekend? Sorry, teacher, I don't listen. Oh, one more time. Are you, are you going to Can do... Can you repeat, please? Yes. Are you going to do any of these things on the weekend, or are you attending one of these on the weekend? On the weekend? Yes. Um, I'm going to play soccer. Oh, that's good. That's wonderful. When? Saturday or Sunday? Mm -hmm. And Saturday in the afternoon. Oh, that's good. That's good. What about you, Marvin? Are you attending one of these things? Yes, I play. I play soccer once a week. Oh, that's good. Also, good. when I celebrate the birthday party. Oh, yeah. So you need to buy a present, right? Oh, that's yeah, good. you're right. <laughs> that's good. Sebastiana, I got a question for you. There is a dog barking. My neighbor's dog is barking a lot. Do you hear that dog? Mm, no. No? Okay. No. Yeah. So that means my head's one. Yeah. I'm working. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I got a neighbor with like, he has a bunch of dogs. Yeah. Big dogs. And their dogs bark a lot. So uh, I, I just wondering like if you hear the noise coming from them. You know what I mean? Uh, pretty much a bunch of choo-choo's barking. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. I have like, yeah. Uh, where I live, like my neighbors, they got dogs. Okay. So. Thank you so much. Very good. We're going to practice the following conversation, people, in here. Okay. Uh, for that one, I want you to pay attention because somehow it's quite long and it's quite fast. So I need you to be ready, listening, and reading the conversation. Yeah. Let's begin with the picture. Tell me, please, 
Um, Roberto Carlos, can you participate? Yes or no? No, teacher. Oh, you're driving, right? Okay. Sí. Oh, that's good. Thank you so much. Be careful. Be careful. Okay. Thank you so much. Gerardo, what about you, Gerardo? Can you participate? Yes, of course, teacher. Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes, Wonderful, Gerardo. Tell me, please, what is this picture? What do you see here in this picture? Well, I can see in this picture the uh, gentleman is, is talking from his cell phone. Or so maybe he's, he's talking on the phone, right? Yes, he's talking on the phone. Maybe uh, maybe he has a meeting in a in a specific hour. Very good. And what is he wearing? Yeah, he's wearing a watch and cell phones, and also a tie and a suit. Very good. Where is this gentleman? Mm, maybe I I can see on the on a bus. One more time, please. On a bus. On a bus. Very good. On a bus. Very good. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay. Here we have this conversation. If you see, it's quite long. Be careful. Okay, because also the conversation is quite fast. You know what I mean. So I will play it three times so you can listen clearly. Yes. And also read. Yeah, so uh, here we go. Page 102, exercise seven. Conversation. Can I take a message? Part A, listen and practice. Hello? Hi, Caitlin, it's Jake. Are you busy? No, I'm having coffee with Brittany. Where are you? Class is going to start soon. That's the problem. I don't think I'm going to make it tonight. Why not? What's the matter? My bus is stuck in traffic. Nobody is moving. Oh, no. What are you going to do? I don't know. Could you tell Mr. Eaton that I'm going to miss class? No problem. I'll give him the message. Oh, and could you ask Brittany to take pictures of the whiteboard for me? Sure. But I can take the pictures. Um, thanks. But the last time you took a picture of the board, all I could see was the wall. Page 102. Exercise 7. Conversation. Can I take a message? Part A. Listen and practice. Hello? Hi, Caitlin. It's Jake. Are you busy? No, I'm having coffee with Brittany. Where are you? Class is going to start soon. That's the problem. I don't think I'm going to make it tonight. Why not? What's the matter? My bus is stuck in traffic. Nobody is moving. Oh, no. What are you going to do? I don't know. Could you tell Mr. Eaton that I'm going to miss class? No problem. I'll give him the message. Oh, and could you ask Brittany to take pictures of the whiteboard for me? Sure, but I can take the pictures. Um, thanks. But the last time you took a picture of the board, all I could see was the wall. Page 102. Exercise 7. Conversation. Can I take a message? Part A. Listen and practice. Hello? Hi, Caitlin. It's Jake. Are you busy? No, I'm having coffee with Brittany. Where are you? Class is going to start soon. That's the problem. I don't think I'm going to make it tonight. Why not? What's the matter? My bus is stuck in traffic. Nobody is moving. Oh, no. What are you going to do? I don't know. Could you tell Mr. Eaton that I'm going to miss class? No problem. I'll give him the message. Oh, and could you ask Brittany to take pictures of the whiteboard for me? Sure, but I can take the pictures. Um, thanks. But the last time you took a picture of the board, all I could see was the wall. Thank you, Anna. Isela Janice.
tell me, what is this conversation mainly about, please? Um, it's about... Eh, están atrapados en el tráfico. Uh, que va a llegar tarde a clase. Uh, <clears throat> so he's going to be late or he's going to miss classes? Uh, miss classes? Exactly. Yeah, that means he's not attending because of his okay. issue he's having. So he's not attending, right? Very good. Okay. And what is what is his request? Anna? It'll, it'll give him the message. Okay, that's the one thing. You know, deliver a message by right? tell her, or I'm sorry, tell him that that um yes. yeah about the issue that he's having. And what is another request? I can't take the picture. So he requests pictures, right, of the class. Yeah, he requests pictures of the class. So so he requested, oh, please, uh, could you ask Brigney to take pictures of the whiteboard for me? Yeah, right, so very good. At the end, to see so how funny. Yeah, yeah, because I think that the person who's like, Kathleen, she's not, she's not, is Kathleen good at taking pictures? Yes or no, is Irma? Is is Kathleen good at taking pictures, Irma? Yes or no? Yes. Um, okay. Do you, can you please read this last part, Irma? Mm, thanks. But the last time you took pictures of the board, all a cool see was the world. Okay. So one more time. Is Kathleen good at taking pictures? Yes or no? No. No, right. Based on this, on Jake's experience, right? Based on Jake's experience, she's not good at taking pictures, right? So that means, like, she's not, okay? Thank you so much. Do you have any question about this? Do me a favor and save, save the conversation. Save the conversation, please. Yes save the conversation and also if you can have the chance to send the conversation on whatsapp group that will be nice yes so save the conversation take a screenshot of it because we are going to practice this one okay so let me let me stop it here some of you uh don't have the chance like but to participate like Roberto Carlos or Sule uh, Catherine Suleima can you participate yes or no yes teacher okay one Francisco also he's not able to participate um Anna Ruth can you participate today yes or no I'm not not right okay very good let me see. So in that case, I think I won't be able to open the breaker rooms because I like I just have like uh, not too many with the options of the mic, right? So I want to do it here in the room all together. Yes. Yeah, so I will request participations from all of you. That means we're gonna start with um, Marvin and you, Sebastiana. Marvin, you are going to be Caitlin. Sebastiana, you are Jake. And when you finish, you change first. Ready? Let's begin. Are you ready, Sebastiana? Yes, I'm ready. Hello. Okay. Hi, Kaylin. He's Jake. Are you busy? No, I'm having coffee with Brittany. Where are you? Class is going to start soon. That's the problem. I don't think I'm going to make it tonight. Why not? What's the matter? My bus is stuck in traffic. Nobody's moving. Oh no, what are you going to do? 
I don't know. Could you tell Mr. Hilton that I'm going to miss classes? No problem. I'll give him the message. Oh, and could you ask Brainy to take a picture of the rival for me? Sure, but I can't take the picture. Oh, thanks. But the last time you took a picture of the board, all I could see was the wall. Now change the route, right? Yes. Okay. Hello. Hi, Caitlin. It's Yay. Are you busy? No, I'm having coffee with Brainy. Where are, where are you? Class is going to start soon. That's a problem. I don't think I'm going to make it tonight. Why not? What's the matter? My bus is my bus is stuck in traffic. Nobody is moving. Oh no. What are you going to do? I don't know. Could you tell Mr. Eden that I'm going to miss class? No problem. I will give him the message. Oh, and could you ask Brickley to take pictures of the white wall for me? Sure, but I can't take the pictures. Mm, thanks, but the last time you took a picture of the wall and I could see was the wall. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yes, here we have good. Good, very good. Wonderful. Okay, Kathleen Zuleima, Poca Sangre. You are going to be Kathleen. Anna. You are Jake. When you finish, change roles. Ready? Let's begin. Hello. Hi, Katie. It's Jay. Are you busy? No, I'm having coffee, coffee with Brittany. Where are you? Class is going to start soon. That's the problem. I don't think I'm going to make it tonight. Why not? What's the matter? My bus, my bus is stopping traffic. Nobody is moving. Oh no! What are you gonna do? I don't know. Could you tell Mr. Hero that I'm going to miss class? No problem. I'll give him the message. Oh, and could you ask Brene to take picture of the whiteboard for me? Sure, but I can take the picture. Mm, thanks. For the last time you took a picture of the board, all I called the West Depot. Hello. Hi, Kathleen. It's Jake. Are you busy? No, I'm having coffee with Brittany. Where are you? Class is going to start soon. That's a problem. I don't think I'm going to make it tonight. Why not? What's the matter? My bus is stuck in traffic. Nobody is moving. Oh, no. What are you going to do? I don't know. Could you tell Mr. Eaton that I'm going to miss class? No problem. We'll give him the message. Oh, and could you ask Brittany to take a picture of the whiteboard for me? Sure, but I can't take the picture. Um, thanks. But the last time you took a picture of the board, all I could see she was the wall. She was the wall. Very good. All I could see was the wall. All I could see was the wall. Irma Suleima, thank you. You're going to be Caitlin? Okay. Uh, very good. Your partner is going to be Jose Edgardo. You are going to be Jake, Jose. Okay, teacher. And then when you finish, you change roles. Here we go. Hello. Okay. Hi, Kylie. It is Jay. Are you busy? No, I having coffee with Brittany. Where are you? Where are you? Class, I going to start soon. That is the problem. I don't think I'm going to make it tonight. Why not? That's the matter. My bus is still in traffic. Nobody is moving. 
Oh no, what are you going to do? I don't know. Oh, could you tell Mr. Eru that I'm going to miss? No problem. I give him the message. Me, me, message, message. Oh, and could you ask Brittany to take picture of the video for, for me? Sure, but I can't take the pictures. Mm, dance, but on the last time you took a picture of the board, all I could see was the world. Okay. Hello. Hi, Caitlin. Is Jake, are you, bo are you bossy? No, I am having coffee with Brittany. Where are you? Class is going to start soon. That's the problem. I don't think I'm going to make it tonight. Why no? What is the matter? My boss is stuck in traffic. Nobody is moving. Oh no. What are you what are you going to do? I don't know. Call you tell me, Mr. Ayton, that it's going to miss class. No problem. I give it in the maze. Oh and uh, call you ask Brittany to take picture at the quick bird for me? Sure, but I, I can take the picture. Oh, thanks. But the last time you took a picture of the bird or call, see what's the word. Thank you so much. Just quick pronunciation. We have busy. Are you busy? Okay, we have break knee here. Are you? Oh, exactly, very good. Um, hey, what else? Message. I give him the message. 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 Very good. Message. message. Here we have whiteboard. 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 Yes, and here we have the expression, sure. But I can take the pictures. But I can take the pictures. So the tunnel voice sounds like sure, like things that you are able to do, right? So you need to be careful with the tone of voice in this expression. So you make sure, right? Sure, but I can take the pictures. Yeah. So the tone of voice is maybe like, you know, something to show that you are able to do something, like taking a picture, right? Yeah. Even though the guy said at the end, Oh, yeah, this is pressure, which is somehow not good. Okay, we're going to have um, Andrea Esmeralda Flores. Yes, you are going to be Kathleen, Catherine Nicole Salazar, you are Jake, and then you change roles. Ready? Let's begin. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hi, Kathleen. It's Jake. Are you busy? No, I'm having coffee <clears throat> with Brittany. Where are you? Class is going to start soon. That's a problem. I don't think I'm going to make it tonight. Why not? What's the matter? My bus is stuck in traffic. Nobody is moving. Oh, no. What are you going to do? I don't know. Could you tell Mr. Aiden that I'm going to miss class? No problem. I will give you... I'll give him the message. Oh, and could you ask Brittany to take a picture of the whiteboard for me? Sure, but I can't take the pictures. Um, thanks. But the last time you took a picture of the board, all I could see was the wall. Hello? Hello. Ah, excuse me. Okay. Hi, Caitlin. It's Jay. How are you, Lucy? No, I'm having coffee with Brittany. Where are you? Class is gonna start soon. That's the problem. I don't think I'm going to take it tonight. Why not? What's the matter? 
My bus is stuck in traffic. In traffic, nobody, nobody is moving. Oh no! What are you gonna do? I don't know. Could you tell Mr. Eden that I'm going to miss class? No problem. I'll give him. Oh, I'm sorry. No problem. I give him the message. Oh, and could you ask Ridley to take pictures of the whiteboard for me? Sure, but I can't take the picture. Mm, thanks, but uh, the last mm -hmm. time you took a picture of the board, all I could see was the wall. It's me, teacher. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Yeah, thank you so much for letting me know that one. Diana, Cristabel, can you participate? Diana? Yes, teacher. Thank you so much. Let me see. Uh, Anna, can you participate? All no, right. Um, hey, Jose, did you do it, Jose? Yes? No. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, you didn't do it. Oscar, what about you? Did you do it already? I don't think so, right? Okay, so you, Diana, please, with Oscar. Oscar, you are going to be Caitlin. Diana, you are uh, Jake. And then when you finish, change roles. Ready? Let's begin. Ready. Hello. Hi. Kathleen is Jay. Are you bossy? No, I'm having coffee with Brittany. Where are you? Class is going to start soon. That's a problem. I don't think I'm going to make in tonight. Why not? What's the matter? My bus is stuck in traffic. Nobody's moving. Oh, no. What are you going to do? I don't know. Could you tell me or two that I'm going to, to miss class? No problem. I'll give you the, the message. Oh, and could you ask Brittany to take the picture of the winter birds for me? Sure, but I can I can take your picture. I'm saying that the last time you took a picture of the bird or could she was the wall. Okay. Thanks. Hello. Hi, Kathleen. It's Jake. Are you busy? No, I am having coffee with Brittany. Where are you? Class going to start soon? That's the problem. I don't think I'm going to make it tonight. Why not? What is the matter? My bus is stuck in traffic. Nobody's moving. Oh no, what are you going to do? I don't know. Could you tell Mr. Aiton that I'm going to miss class? No problem. I give you him the message. Oh, um, could you could you ask Brittany to take pictures of the password for me? Sure, but I can take the pictures. But the last time you took a picture of the board, all could see was the wall. That was very good. Yep, great job. Let me tell you the attendance really quick. Ana Isela Janes Angel. Present teacher. Nice to have you and welcome. Ana Ruth Perez Leiva. Thank you so much for being here. Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Diana Cristabel Melendez Rivera. Present. Nice to have you. Welcome. Francisco Valdomar Lopez. Thank you so much for being here. Gerardo Jose Tepa Sanchez. I'm here. Wonderful. Present teacher. Soy Valdomar. Nada más que estoy conduciendo. Thank you, Francisco. No problem. Thank you so much. Good evening. Also, Gerardo, thank you so much for being here. Irma Zuleima Grande de Cuellar. Thank you so much. Jose Edgardo Mendez Miranda. 
Present teacher. Nice to have you. Welcome. Catherine Suleima Bucasangre Escobar. Present teacher. Nice to have you and welcome. Catherine Nicole Salazar Larios. I'm here. Welcome. Nice to have you. Kathy Jornada Dos Cruces. Present teacher. Good evening. Nice to have you. Okay. Uh, Marvin Alejandro Landaverde Arias. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Oscar Otoniel Cruz Guzman. Present. Good evening, gentlemen. Roberto Carlos Alfaro Alberto. Thank you so much for being here. Sebastiana Guadalupe Aguilar Hernandez. I'm here. Nice to have you. So, thank you, y'all, for being here. Let's continue with the grammar part here. We are going to have the second part of this conversation. I want you to take a look. This part, as you may know, this conversation somehow is fast. And in a way, it's quite difficult, right? The next audio Page is going to be quite similar. I need you to check the names. Write the colors name. Colors. Right. So I need you to be careful because the speed of the conversation is fast. I will play it three times. Be careful. Okay, so here we go. Page 102. Exercise 7. Part B. Listen to three other phone calls. Write the callers' names. 1. Hello. Hi, Caitlin. It's Vanessa. Are you in class yet? No, not yet. Is everything okay? I think I have the flu. I can't go to class today. Oh, I'm sorry. You need to rest. Could you tell Mr. Eaton that I'm sick? Of course. I'm sure he'll understand. Feel better, Vanessa? Two. Hello? <coughs> Caitlin, it's Scott. Oh, no. Are you sick, too? Yeah, I feel terrible. I'm not going to class. Well, you're not the only one. Hey, Rob isn't answering his phone. Would you ask him to call me after class? He has my book. Of course. Feel better, Scott. Three. Hello? Hey, Caitlin. Hi, Danny. Don't tell me that you're sick, too. No, I feel fine. Great. So what's going on? I'm having car trouble, so I'm running late to class. Can you tell Mr. Eaton that I'm going to be about 20 minutes late? Oh, good. I'm not going to be the only one in class. Sure, I'll tell him. Page 102. Exercise 7. Part B. Listen to three other phone calls. Write the callers' names. 1. Hello? Hi, Caitlin. It's Vanessa. Are you in class yet? No, not yet. Is everything okay? I think I have the flu. I can't go to class today. Oh, I'm sorry. You need to rest. Could you tell Mr. Eaton that I'm sick? Of course. I'm sure he'll understand. Feel better, Vanessa? Two. Hello? <coughs> Caitlin, it's Scott. Oh, no. Are you sick, too? Yeah, I feel terrible. I'm not going to class. Well, you're not the only one. Hey, Rob isn't answering his phone. Would you ask him to call me after class? He has my book. Of course. Feel better, Scott. Three. Hello? Hey, Caitlin. Hi, Danny. Don't tell me that you're sick, too. No, I feel fine. Great. So what's going on? I'm having car trouble, so I'm running late to class. Can you tell Mr. Eaton that I'm going to be about 20 minutes late? Oh, good. I'm not going to be the only one in class. Sure, I'll tell him. Page 102. Exercise 7. Part B. Listen to three other phone calls. Write the callers' names. 1. Hello? Hi, Caitlin. 
It's Vanessa. Are you in class yet? No, not yet. Is everything okay? I think I have the flu. I can't go to class today. Oh, I'm sorry. You need to rest. Could you tell Mr. Eaton that I'm sick? Of course. I'm sure he'll understand. Feel better, Vanessa? Two. Hello? <coughs> Caitlin, it's Scott. Oh, no. Are you sick, too? Yeah, I feel terrible. I'm not going to class. Well, you're not the only one. Hey, Rob isn't answering his phone. Would you ask him to call me after class? He has my book. Of course. Feel better, Scott. Three. Hello? Hey, Caitlin. Hi, Danny. Don't tell me that you're sick, too. No, I feel fine. Great. So what's going on? I'm having car trouble, so I'm running late to class. Can you tell Mr. Eaton that I'm gonna be about 20 minutes late? Oh, good. I'm not gonna be the only one in class. Sure, I'll tell him. Thank you so much, Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernandez. Yes, teacher. Please, tell me the names. Uh, teacher, really, I can <laughs> I, I can pay attention because I I busy now. Oh, okay, okay, no problem. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. No problem. Diana Cristabel Melendez, please. Okay, the first name, Vanessa. Mm -hmm. And the second, I don't remember. But no. what about the... number three? What about number three? Dennis. Dennis. Danny. Very good. Dennis. Very good. Yeah. Uh, Catherine Suleima Pocasangre. Caller number two. Scott. That is correct. Scott, right. Now, Sebastiana, why Vanessa is not attending the class? Because she is sick. She she probably uh, has flu. Exactly. Very good. Thank you so much. Kathy Jornadas Cruces, the number two. Why he's not attending the class, Scott? I think it's the same reason as Vanessa. Yes, very good. And what about Danny, Kathy? Danny has a problem with his car. That is correct. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay, very good. Let's Page one hundred of the grammar part for today. I want you to look at this video. Yes. Pay attention to this one because it's quite interesting, the topic, and somehow we get confused. Okay, so um, here we go. Let's listen and watch. Let's continue, shall we? Now let's go over on how to take and give a phone message using the verbs tell and ask. Get your papers ready and take notes during the explanation. Page 103, exercise eight, grammar focus. Messages with tell and ask. Statement. The meeting is on Friday. Messages with a statement. Please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Request. Call me this afternoon. Messages with a request. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. Tell plus person plus that plus the statement. And because we want to be polite, we may add please, could you or would you. 
Notice that is in brackets because it may be omitted. When leaving a message with a request, this is how we should do it. Ask plus person plus two plus the request. Again, we use please, could you, or would you to be polite. Ready? This is the statement I want you to work with. Our next class is on Friday. Please write three possible statement messages as shown on the chart. And this is the request. Meet me this afternoon. Again, please write three possible request messages on our discussion box. Okay. So, this is the information that we have about formal and informal messages with tell and ask. We use tell and ask with, with this request. Okay. Um, the first one is a statement. The second one is a request. Yeah. If you notice here, people, look at here. We have a statement. I'm going to miss class tonight. Yes. This is a request because it's a question. Could you take a picture? Could you take a picture of the board? Then here, all of these ones are requests. Yeah. Yeah. These requests, cuando tenemos un statement, goes with tell. El verbo tell. We can use the expressions, please. Could you? Would you? Luego, we have the person. Aquí puede ser him. Puede ser Alex. It could be Carlos. It could be Ana. Yes? Then, if we want, we can use that. And then the rest of the of the of the thing, right? For example, um, I'm going to miss class. Could you tell him that I'm going to miss class? Would you would you tell him that I'm going to miss class? So, always when we have a statement, we're gonna have we tell, and when we have a request, we are going to use ask. Okay. Also, we have otra vez here the name. Here we can have Anna, we can have Carlos, we can have Andrea. Yes. And at the beginning, we have the same expression. Could, please, could you, would you? But, but, acá, we need to have to take, to take, to take, and then a compliment. Yes. For example, in message with request, Use the infinitive of the four, right? Which is this one. Yes. Please ask her. Ask her to meet me at noon. In messages, cuando el message sea negative, cuando el message sea negative, we are going to use the word not before the word to. And in the infinitive, for example, could you ask in not to be late. Yes. So that means no vamos a utilizar el auxiliary. Do, done, or does for this one. Okay. Any question about this? Any question about this? No? Okay. Let's practice a little bit. Give me a minute. Page one. Okay. Look at here. Read the message. Ask to pass the on. Use the words in parentheses. We have a message, right? We have a receiver. We have a person, which is Patrick. And then we have, like, the rest, which is a statement, or sometimes it's a request. In parentheses, we have the word that is going to be at the beginning of the sentence. Yeah. So for example, here I have please. So here I write please. And then I figure it out. See as a request or see as just a statement. Okay. Yeah. So let's work with number two. How can we do number two? Anybody?
Mm -hmm. How? How do we do number two? Uh huh. Anybody? No? Okay. Let me pick somebody. Catherine what? Nicole Salazar, Larios. Catherine Nicole Salazar, Larios. Would, very good. Would you, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Would you then tell or ask? Ask. Would you ask? Who's next? Who's the person? Anna. Anna, very good. Anna, what is next? Would you ask Anna? Infinitive, right? Catherine, what is the infinitive? To wait. Beautiful. To wait. For me a person. Exactly. Wonderful. Yeah. Yes, so this is the way we do it, right? Would you ask Anna to wait for me after class? Yay, very good. What about number three? Anybody with number three? Thank you. Me. Sure. Please, Marvin, go ahead. Okay. Would. Would. Remember, Good. Marvin, in this one, pronunciation tip, la letter L is silent. No se pronuncia, right? Entonces, vamos with would. Would. Uh, would. 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 Very good. Would. Would. You tell Alex. Oh, very good. Would you tell Alex. Uh -huh. That the concert. That the concert. Very good. On Saturday has been canceled. Canceled. Very good. Saturday has been canceled. Very good. Beautiful. Yes. Would you tell Alex? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. That the concert. That the concert on Saturday has been canceled. Beautiful. Very good. What about the number four? Anybody? Uh-huh. Tell me why number four is for you. Mambo number four. Uh-huh. What is the sentence in number four? Kathy, any idea? Um, could you tell Sarah? That's correct. Very good. Good. You tell, oh my gosh, Sara. Uh -huh. So don't forget to return the book. There is a mistake over there. Mm -hmm. Can you help her, please? Somebody help her. I need your help now. Okay. Somebody help her, please. Thank you. That don't forget to return the book to the library. That's quite accurate, but there is only one little thing over there. Would you tell Sarah? In parentheses, that? No, I'm sorry. No. Nice try. Doesn't? Mm. No, no, I'm sorry. Nice try. And it's, it's related to the last thing that I mentioned from the previous slide. In the previous slide, I, I mentioned something at the end. 
that is quite interesting. Please. Um, no, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Because we have here in parentheses. No, I'm sorry. Um, do you do you give up? Okay, okay. Let me show you really quick. Don't worry. Be happy. Oh, Jesus, that's not. Okay, here. If you notice here with negative, it says, in messages with negative infinitives, not goes before to. In the infinitive, could you ask in not to be late? So auxiliaries, remember? We don't use auxiliaries in here, right? Yeah. So that's that's the that's the issue over here. Okay, so you got everything right, just this little thing. Okay. So could you tell Sara? Not not to be not, not to forget to return the book to the library. That is correct. Very good. Yeah. So if you notice that little thing, right, is, is affecting us in here. Can you tell Sara not to forget to return the book to the library? Yeah. That's wonderful, people. Very good. Um, let me see. Okay. Let me see if we can make the, the next one. Okay. Because that the, the other one is quite a stank a little bit. Okay. Here we have this one. We are going to read this information. Irma Suleima Grande, please read everything that you see on the screen. Thank you so much. Okay. Hannah, guess that I am learning moving is a jump around Saturday morning and um, maybe afternoon to help me move things to me new apartment i only have a few heavy heavy things but i call use all the help i can get uh, i i'll probably pizza for dinner tell your friends and um, let me know Todo, yes. yes, please. Thank you. Pablo, cool. Where are you, mommy? Moving. I wish I could have you Saturday, but I'm going to the beach. Don't hate, hate me. I am a bar, a boy, boy, on Sunday, but that probably does tell you sorry. I have you, sorry, Richard. Congratulations on the new place. I can't help, but not you till the afternoon. My study group is get, getting together to prepare for the Chinese chemistry exam on Monday. G Eh, no sé cómo se dice ahí, teacher. Yikes. Yikes. See you after, after lunch. Lying. Who, who would new apartment Saturday morning? I have to go to my little brother's bas basket, basketball tournament. But I come over right after it. Finish that the address. Address. Thank you. What's the address? Take a screenshot, please, of this one, and do me a favor. Send it on the WhatsApp group that we have available. Take a quick a screenshot of this exercise and send it over there. Thank you. Um, Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, Jesus. Yeah, we won't be able to do it because of the time. Yeah, take a screenshot of this one as well and send it on WhatsApp group, please. Yes. Um. Yeah, we won't be able to make it because it's almost time to go to bed. 
yeah. Um, and at the end we have uh, this exercise, okay? I want you to take a screenshot of this one and send it please as well on, on the WhatsApp group. And um, I would like you to try on and, and try to do it. This information is from the previous slices, right? From the last two slices that Irma was reading and also the other one. Try to do it and we will check those tomorrow if we have the chance, okay? Thank you so much, everybody. Yeah, good, good night. night everybody. See good you night, tomorrow. Everybody. Don't forget. See you tomorrow. Have a blast tomorrow. Yes, wonderful. Bye-bye.